everybody welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you my thoughts on a newer foundation that I have been using for um, a couple of weeks now and it is the L'Oreal infallible um, makeup advance never fail makeup 18 hour wear is what the bottle says okay this is in a pump as you can see what really drawn what really made me want to try this foundation was on the cap here it says fights makeup meltdown and I'm all about that I want something that's going to last all day because I do work eight to five and if you've watched my videos you know that I love my L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation that is my favorite favorite foundation right now and I've been on a hunt to find something else I love because I am a makeup junkie or hoarder whatever you want to say um so i'm always looking for something else um now i have tried the makeup forever ultra hd i do not like that it's um it doesn't last for me and it just does not make my skin look good which is very strange but anyways i thought this makeup might be kind of similar to that but the consistency of this is a little bit thicker than the makeup forever ultra hd just to kind of give you an idea of what the consistency is like and i cut to a demo of me putting this foundation on here in just a few moments now my shade is a nude beige i could use something lighter probably but the shade range and the foundation i felt like this was going to be closest for me i'm a mac nc20 now the first few times I wore this, I thought that it was a more of a luminous, I'm not going to say dewy, but just more of a fresh natural look. But the more I wear it, it's more of just, there's a little bit of luminosity to it. I have no highlighter on. I have my blush is matte. I only put on my concealer underneath my eyes. I didn't put on any concealer on my face because I didn't want to um, change how the foundation really did look for you guys but the finish on it I mean it's it's not matte but it's not glowy I don't guess I don't know it's kind of an in-between but this really does last really well now I set it with my l'oreal infallible pro matte setting powder just a little bit of it not a whole lot so if you are i'm normal to oily i can tend to get oily in my t-zone but i think if you have dry skin i think you could still give this a shot i think this um finish is going to work for a wide range of skin um types i also have larger pores and it does not accentuate my pores um it looks really nice and the coverage on it is medium coverage i think the light i have a ring light i think it's really kind of i don't know how well you can see my flaws like i have right here i have two um bumps and over here i do have some issues as well but i feel like sometimes the lighting just blurs that out but for me this is a medium coverage for some people it might be full coverage and i do feel like you could apply i did two pumps of it that's what i typically do um so i feel like you could build this up if you wanted to and what else do i want to say it's in a glass bottle it's nice packaging for the drugstore the price point i think was around ten dollars which is you know especially for l'oreal that's um, about 10 to 13 dollars is what their foundations are and I'm I'm really glad that I picked this up I'm really enjoying it like I said it lasts really well for me and um, yeah I think you should definitely give it a shot I don't know that I've heard really anybody talk about it I don't know if this is new or old or in between but pick mine up at CVS you can find it at Walmart and probably Target um, and yeah I think that you should definitely try it out and if you have tried it let me know in the comments or if, what you think about it and we will cut to the demo um, I did this eye look in another video 
you can check that out. Um, it's the Tartlet in Bloom palette. And on my cheeks, I put Tarte Exposed. My lips is a combination of Milani lipstick and nude cream. And my L'Oreal Lilac in shade 209. It's a combo of those two shades. Um, and yeah, guys, my bronzer is NYC Sunny Bronzer. Didn't want to put a whole lot of stuff on my face. Like I said, to, I didn't want to change the appearance of the foundation too much. And I set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And yeah, let's get to the demo. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two pumps of this. That's usually what I've been doing is two pumps. And um, it's got... That usually is pretty good for me. Um, as far as an amount. Like I said, I just use a beauty sponge. I feel like for me, this is what works the best. Um, since it is like a thinner consistency. And I'm just, cause I have been on a foundation hunt for, even though my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is my favorite, I'm a makeup junkie, so I'm always wanting to find something else I like just as well. <laughs> and I have not found anything. And I tried, like I said, the makeup forever just is a no for me. Um, as far as the wear time especially the wear time on that I'm just like no it doesn't work for me but um and I also tried like I said the Urban Decay Naked Skin didn't like that um Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation tried that didn't like that either <laughs> So, now this is two pumps of foundation. Okay, now I feel like that's pretty good. You can probably still see my two little breakouts right there. This side looks okay. Like I said, I think it for me personally, I think this is a medium coverage. But I usually add my MAC Pro Longwear to my face, so 